I'll take the BS indices. That's what we have been following. So I'll start from auto. So on the daily chart, if you are looking at there is a fall continuously from say December 2017, from January, February, all fall. So where it can, uh, how it is looking like? Will it rebound? Okay. So will it rebound? That's the question. Okay, so now uh, the closest level, okay, the closest level uh, what we are looking at uh, as far as uh, auto is concerned, no, after making, uh, you know, breaking the low and here it's rebounding. There are two meanings for it. One is it can end up with a pullback or it can give a huge up move. Okay, once it crosses these levels, this is, you know, 24, uh, 550, we can keep 24, 550. So once it breaks 24,550, that could be a huge upward momentum, uh, which will uh, no, pull the uh, no, auto sector onto the next level because now all are available at a very, very, very low level, including Tata Motors. Okay, so that way we can see uh, there is an attempt. Automobile sector currently it is okay. Auto, where what is the what is the situation? It is now trying to rebound. Okay, then we will go, go for next sector. I will go to the next sector. So, we will go to Bank X. So, we will go to the banking sector. Look at this. Compared with the auto, it is looking better, isn't it? So, there could be a momentum can, can happen in banking sector which will give you some money. So, now we should call the banking sector is showing as some kind of upswing. It's going for upswing. You can see here after tremendous fall, it made a bottom and reversed and this reversal can give a hope of this you know, continuous rise for some time. So next we will look into FMCG. FMCG is looked at as a uh, you know, evergreen field and it is uh, uh, the, it's the one which is holding the market in the bad time. And the situation here is uh, last one week if you look into it was struggling but when you take it to last three days you can see here last uh, two candles. That is giving indication that it's kind of a wrapping you know, the bull is uh, wrapped uh, between two sides. So uh, this is showing a strength of bulls in the days to come. So currently it, it made a kind of a double bottom and it just make a breakout and the uh, upside move if you look into uh, currently from the current scenario it can have a very strong up move it's time to buy FMC one part okay so FMCG is time to buy Following FMCG is time to buy. Okay, right. So let us look into the next sector that is healthcare, pharma. So similar to Bank Nifty, similar to uh, FMCG. And this is a strong rebound by uh, by pharma sector. Okay, so pharma also. Okay, I'll extend it by another five minutes. Please hold on.
Now we are going to see pharma. Okay. Yeah, we have come. Now this is uh, healthcare. Now you can see the chart. This is no healthcare, pharma. So pharma is going reversed. Pharma reversed. Okay, the next one what we are going to see, the final one is metal. So I am going to take you to the metal. Yes, 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 yes. Metal made a huge turn around. Uh, what do you see here? This is the candle pattern. Okay, so what do you see here? The candle pattern in in metal. So this is something what you call it morning star. Can you see the morning star there? Okay. So this is the morning star. This morning star is a powerful uptrend. So metal also making a strong rebound. And you can see here uh, from this bottom to next bottom, it's a higher bottom. There's a strong breakout. And metal is likely to make another big move in the coming week. So in one week, you should be able to make money in uh, in uh, metal sec sector. Particularly, you go for a uh, leading companies like Tata Steel. JSW steel. So all that you can focus for making money for the week. Right? 